Hi, my name is Mahlatz Nicholas Mako, a CSI consultant at Investec. In March 2020, South Africa found itself in uncharted terrain and waters following the global outbreak of coronavirus, which by then had reached our borders, necessitating the most extreme lockdown measures a young democracy has ever seen. Undeniably, as necessary as these measures were, they unfortunately had serious socio-economic implications for South Africa, and understandably, the education sector was no exception. Experiencing the most difficult period with dire consequences, making 2020 one of the most difficult academic years that our country has ever experienced since the dawn of democracy in 1994. I guess we had heard of COVID uh, as we went into 2020, but none of us could have imagined what COVID was to do to the world and to this country. And as we be began 2020, for us, it was a normal year where the bar was raised, looking back on the achievements of ProMets all these years, especially 2019. So we went, into 2020 with an understanding that we are to shoot the lights out. We are to do much better than the class of 2019. Because our understanding is always that it is always the responsibility and the obligation of the current class to do better than the previous classes. And that was our expectation. My name is Mzwandil Mpisane. I come, um, I'm from um, KZN, Durban. I was uh, doing my metric at uh, Reunion Secondary School. I'm currently at uh, the University of Cape Town. I'm doing uh, medicine first year. When the, when the announcement was first, um, uh, was first um, initiated about COVID-19, um, uh, at, at the beginning, I felt like um, everything would like, go back to normal really quick. But um, it didn't. Um, when it didn't, um, I started like, getting um, a bit um, concerned about the year, how the year is going to turn out. What it did and meant to me as a learner, um, independence. Because usually when we study, it's like you do the work by yourself, you go to class, get taught the content, and then review it on your own. But then this time it's like I'm on my own, there's no teacher to rely on, so that's what it meant. And yeah. So I started thinking that maybe I'm just not going to do as good, but then I was so happy that I'm going to be home. So um, we were still waiting for announcement from Kutlanong. The idea was we thought we were going to go to Kutlanong nonetheless because nothing stops Kutlanong. When Mr. Mguni wants to stay, we go there. So um, they announced that we're not going to be going. And then I started having like, some real stress now because I thought I'm not going to get very good marks. I'm probably not going to go to like very good universities. If I get accepted, that maybe at the now that I'm accepted, I may not be able to be there the following year because my marks won't be good. We had a great fear because this disease was infecting a lot of people and also it was killing. And it's a different type of a disease. They say if you touch or get into contact with another person, it can infect you. So we're still scared, highly scared as a centre. We're scared as teachers. Our learners were hesitant, uh, we were not waking very well, waking up, and we had uh, mental issues. Most of the learners were mentally affected. Promet's high-touch face-to-face offering where learners and teachers would normally come together for effective teaching and learning was also disrupted, threatening the very hope of better academic performance that this program provides to thousands of learners. Seeing this potential risk, Investec CSI called all PROMETS partners to a virtual meeting to explore the possibility of moving this program online, citing that our learners were at risk and a plan to save the 2020 academic year was urgently needed. In this meeting, there was a unanimous decision to act immediately with a sense of urgency to build and pilot PROMETS online with a specific focus on grade 12 learners at first. The decision to move uh, the promets online was difficult because, you know, you always have the fear of the unknown uh, as to whether this thing, is it going to really give us uh, 
the desired you know outcomes uh, as you know we would want to see it happening the fear was you know the gadgets with the learners uh, whether the learners you know would have gadgets uh, because we are not going to provide them but we are sure that you know with the support of investec you know providing for the uh, data and uh, learners being able to access information uh, online without any challenge uh, at least that really gave us you know confidence and i remember you know going to those classrooms uh, for me even those fears that were there at least they were managed because you know you could see learners still participating uh, where they were allowed to ask questions you know they will you know unmute and uh, ask questions and uh, you know for us it was you know a gain which i think it will be even going forward uh, even post you know the pandemic will still you know continue with this uh, online platform and face to face but uh, most importantly when that that particular decision was made um, it was made while all of us were working uh, remotely so it is something that was decided uh, virtually and for which the fears were there that if something that we are only discussing it virtually uh, it is not going to be an easy journey but uh, after sitting down uh, we realized that uh, it's something that we can be able to do it because already we had the plans to uh, bring uh, in the issue of ICT into the program. But when that decision was made, for me, as a, a head of a curriculum or education, I felt that uh, it was long overdue that we needed to make such a decision. And I think uh, that decision, when it was made, for me, it came at the right time despite the fact that it was uh, uh, accelerated by the pandemic COVID-19. When we started Mobi Twitter, it emerged out of our entrepreneurship journeys, one of which was focused on entrepreneurs in education, and we were in Finland. And we were, lo and behold, to select Abed, uh, who was then with Tutemi, uh, to be part of those who joined us on this trip. And while I was with him on this trip, because I personally went on this trip, I challenged him. I said, you know what? You have got uh, this Tutemi platform that in essence is a provision of tutors um, for the affluent. What about the majority? What about those who will not afford to have access to this tu excellent tutorial support? Somebody in Kais Kamahuk, somebody in Vembe, somebody in Khapasa, how are they? And he listened to me and he, his eyes went open this wide and I challenged him and I said, I want to have a conversation with you, but this time about broadening your access of tutorial support to the communities that wouldn't otherwise have it. And that's how we, we became partners, um, not only in the form of taking him to Finland, but partners in exploring a solution for the betterment of education for the majority wouldn't otherwise have it. And, 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 and as I say, this was about two years before COVID hit, and we were on a path of our own. Um, so actually, when the choice of partners in re with regards to Promets Online came, it was a no-brainer. Why? Why look to the long list of other potential partners with whom we have no relationship? Why look to re reinvent the wheel? Why look to re-establish a relationship when in fact, through Tutor Me, through Mobi Tutor, we have the relationship, we have the know-how, and had already invested in this platform. Tutor to Me helped shift ProMaths online by providing um, access to an online learning platform, to virtual classrooms, and making sure that it was possible to migrate thousands of learners and their teachers onto a platform that enabled them to continue the learning they would do in class. So the role that Kutano came up with is that they developed content, material, presentations that are relevant for online. They developed the registers, they developed everything that has to do with online. They took what was on face-to-face -face and they put it on a mobile platform.
We definitely anticipated um, migration challenges. So moving learners online, what does that look like for the learner? How do they work online? How do they respond to learning online? How do they use technology to learn? And how are they responding to um, being in a class where they've got no physical contact? Where you have to listen attentively, you know? Where you can't see your teacher, you can't see your friends. Um, you're, you're almost an independent learner in a class. What does that look like? We've had to bridge those gaps. We've had to make sure that our classrooms are easy for, for teachers to navigate, that the tools they use are easy and classroom-like. So how they write on the board, how they allow learners to write on the board, what kind of um, additional resources do they need in order to make a classroom engaging? Because something about learning online is it's hard to say to a class, does everyone understand? And then it's stuck quiet. When you're in class, you can see on a learner's face that they're not on the same page with you. But online, if it's quiet, you don't know who to call. But when you have a polling system and you ask a question and learners can answer that question, then you can immediately see 20% of my kids aren't on the same page. So. Those are some of the challenges and that's how we've tried to move away from them. It always seems impossible until it's done. Wow, against all odds, ProMeds produced the unthinkable. What a performance it was. Congratulations to the class of 2020 for flying the ProMeds flag this high. These results are testament to what can be achieved when people are focused and deliberate in our actions, even in times of a crisis. Definitely worth celebrating. Thanks to all who have made this achievement possible. We would not have achieved all this had it not been for all our partners in this initiative, especially our teachers and learners for not only responding favorably to the challenge, but making it their own. Thank you very much. Since our involvement with you as Tony South, we've been number one nationally best performing district in mathematics and physical science. It is because of you. I normally say, umuntu, umuntu, amantu. This I'm really directing to Investec. Investec, thank you very much. It takes a village to raise a child. You've shown us that you were part of the education system. Without you, we wouldn't get these results. Without your financial support, you wouldn't. The Department of Education wouldn't have the financial muscle to be able to give this extra tuition, but you've shown that you, you can do that. And what we want to say to you as a district owner, so please continue. Don't stop because you are educating the nation. You are making a difference in the country. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank the other partners who were involved in the background that we might not have been aware of, that have played a role in making sure that this project becomes a success. Thank you very much to everybody. First and foremost, to the place I've called home for the last 17 years in Vestek, for the trust that you've had in my team and I to do that which we could do. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for pushing us. Thank you for creating the scope that you have created for meaningful change in society. We would not achieve half of what we've achieved if it was not of your both your moral, financial, and all other forms of support. 
that you have extended through us. Gratitude must also go to our partners, not in crime, but in good deeds. Good to know. That they might be there. Colin and colleagues, very appreciative of the partnership. We will look back one day when we've all retired and say this is the legacy. This is how we have touched the future in a meaningful way. How gracious am I on behalf of Investec to have found partners like Kutano. And by extension, our teachers who are part of the um, Kutano program. Tutorials were always on time, full of energy, full of inspiration, because teachers, many of whom have been with us not only for two years, five years, 10 years, but 15 years. Thank you for your part in what you've done. Kangani, kangani, sizo pumelela. Hala, la promise, hala, la. Hala, la promise, hala, la.